Welcome back. Today's a fun day. We get to put the tops on and we get to put the drawers in. So, and that'll be the end of this. So the first thing that we have to do today is we have to put in these little figure eights. These little, looks like two washers together. They're called figure eights. And they sit on top of the legs and they allow, they allow the, the top to move back and forth with the winter and the summer as the wood expands and contracts. So you're not screwing it right down to the, the substructure. Otherwise the top might crack. So we're putting these in and we go along, we take a Forstner bit and we drill a very shallow hole. And then we take the, for, the figure eight and we make sure it's flush with the top, which it is. And then we pre-drill the holes because it's oak, it's very hard. And we screw them in and we've done that a couple there. Uh, one of the problems that you have is that the screws are sometimes break. The, uh, the wood is very strong, the, the white oak is very strong. And so one of them broke off as we were screwing in the figure eight. Now then the question becomes, how do you fix that? So what we did is we took a about a 3 8 inch thick piece of wood, took the Forstner bit, drilled a hole in it the size we want, and then you set this on top of where you want the new hole to be. So there's the old hole, and we want the new hole to be there. And now that is our guide for the new hole, and you use the Forstner bit and down you go, and guess what? It offsets the hole by about 3 16 of an inch, so now I can put a new screw in and I can set the figure eight right there. And now we're all fixed and we're ready to go again. On to the drawers. So to, to fix the drawers to the exact length, in the plans they make these a little long with the understanding that when you go to put them in, you can see right here that they're too, the, the, the runners, the sides of the drawers are too long and we need to cut those down a little bit. And so what we did was we measured on the inside how deep this is, and we're gonna cut that off the back. So that's why we put blue tape on there. And now we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So go ahead and follow me over to the, to the um, table saw. And we're just literally gonna clip the ends of these things off. I've got my miter saw set up so that it's exactly where I want it to be. And all I'm gonna do is run through the blue tape, and the blue tape is there to keep the splinters from popping up. Uh, when you cut the wood. So I'll do it once and I'll flip it over. So here we go. Stand here and we'll put this back in again and set it up and look at that. It is smooth across the front. It's exactly the way we want it. We want this to be flush across the front. If I hold that in place, I got it right where I wanted it. Okay. So we just slide the bottoms in. Easy peasy. And then Gianna is going to countersink the holes for the screws that are going to hold the drawer in. Good. All right, that's got that. And then I'm gonna put in a couple of screws here. Our tough screws to get into uh, oak because they're flathead screws. Voila, okay, screws are in. Gianna's now gonna put in two brads here and two on the other side to hold everything in place. Make sure that's nice. Flush. There we go. Look at that. Voila. Okay. There we have a drawer. Final piece of wood that needs to be uh, cut or manufactured for this to work properly is the drawer runner. The drawers are going to run on top of these little half inch by half inch squares, and so they need to go from the front to the back and the drawer will sit on top of that and the the top of the nightstand and these rails will keep the drawer from falling out and that's as simple as countersinking and pre-drilling and all that kind of stuff and then all I want to do is just put a screw in and I'm going to hand tighten these I don't want to use the drill to tighten them okay that's good let's see how that drawer fits like butter Gianna is tightening up the last of the figure eights, holding, struggling, struggling, the, holding the tabletop to the substructure. So that wraps up the mission style uh, nightstands or end tables for a living room. Uh, this was a fun project. Look at how beautiful this thing turned out. Oh my gosh, I got to do this with my daughter Gianna. And next weekend, she moves into her first ever apartment uh, with a girlfriend of hers down in San Jose. And these are going in her bedroom as nightstands. And I'll be sure to add just a quick picture 
of what it looks like in the end when they're installed. Uh, what, 12 years later there? 12 years. These were started in uh, 2008 when, when the issue came out, and now they're finally done. And I'm glad I got to do them with my daughter. Woo! Beautiful. It's final, final close. Give me five. It looks really good when you're filming, but both of the screws broke when we put it. <laughs> and then the nail gun went through. So, We're woodworking is messy, work. and even professionals. Professionals. Things Wait, get where, where's, your air, where's your air quotes? Professionals. Eric, tell me.